Alright, welcome back everybody as to some more Skyrim as we see well where the game began up there at Helgen uh, is behind us and uh, well Bleak Falls Barrow on the horizon or on the the rise above us or ahead of us and uh, we're just heading back down towards and figure out what the best route is back down towards Riverwood I'm not really looking to do much battle here along the way I want to get to Riverwood, and uh, we're, we're going to talk with Delphine. Figure out what's what's next, you know, on the main quest line. Um, and then, and then, we're, I think we're going to head for White Run, and uh, and get this Stormcloak, this next part of the uh, the Stormcloak quest line running. And I have a feeling. I mean, I've never done it. Whereas I have, I have spent a little bit of time with the main quest line, and I know what's to come next. However, if I remember correctly, the next thing that we do at the Thalmer Embassy is is the last thing I've done with it, you know. But as far as, you know, Stormcloak uh, work goes, well, this is, I mean, this is all new, new ground for me. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if we're actually going to do battle here. What happened to the clop of, uh, of the horse goes? There we go. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see if we're actually going to do battle here for Whiterun. Or if something will, you know, if Balgriff will perhaps come to his senses. I'm disappointed in the man, to be perfectly honest with you, as Rogard is as well. Anyway, as it stands, at the very least, I mean, he sent some uh, some White Run guards here to Riverwood, looking after Girder and the good people of this town, yes. Anyway, I've got uh, buying and selling to do, of course, and uh, hopefully the horses... Get off there, Rogard. For some reason, he, he won't get off. There we go. Goddamn stone wall was in my way. Clearly. All right. I'm going to start. We'll get him. I, I guess he was waiting. Okay. We'll get him waiting. And uh, should I just bog myself down with everything that he's got? Let's take a quick look at his inventory here. I'm going to have to hit up uh, probably both Alvor and the uh, Riverwood Trader. To get rid of all this gear. I'm still carrying the Dwarven War Axe. I'm holding on to that for the time being. Um, the uh, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell that. Oh, I've got three ironwood longbows. That has made my day. I think I've got all the ingredients I need for the uh, for the vision bowl. All right, that's spectacular. I think all of that can probably go. I'm gonna hold on to the the the, the two dwarven dr daggers just in case I have to hand one off to a uh, an imprisoned stormcloak soldier. All right, I'll grab that. Am I holding on to the cloak of brown hide for anything? I mean, I don't know. I, I rarely wear a cloak at this point, even with the rain. Um, are these ebony boots of frost suppression. Damn. I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of all of this here. To be perfectly honest with y'all, I've got quite a bit of meat here. Where did all this come from? Clearly, I'm going to have to do some cooking here. Give it all, yeah. Alright. The the books can stay for the time being. Although I, sh I should go through them at some... Oh my god, I've got dragon bones on here. And scales. Look at me, I'm weighed down at 537 pounds. Good lord, Rogod, Vinmaker. You are a beast, sir. Look at you. Just pure... M it's just... He's purely muscling it at this point. Alright, we'll get all the hides. I've got some leather sitting there. I may need it. I'd better grab it. I'd better grab my ingots. I, actually, I'm going to have to come back here, but I might as well grab it all. And I'll even go over and grab the three ironwood longbows. Just have to remember not to sell them accidentally. Alright, let me head over here. And pack some of these away. Still saving all these damn things for a rainy day. Still have yet to have anything that's... Uh, um, that's enchanted. You know, I mean, it's been a while. Just waiting for that one perfect, that one perfect item for the for the moment. You know, for the time. All right, I think that's probably good for the time being. Okay. Oh my God, I can prob I can hardly walk. Girder, my dear, how you been? Embry, Embry, <laughs> he's a surly, a surly fella. You know, he he doesn't get along with much of anything. The only thing he gets along with is the bottom of his glass. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the town drunk. And he, I don't even think he can much uh, afford the alcohol, you know. Anyway. Lucan! It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Ah, Camilla. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking You're care of those well, thieves. You're very well, sir. You're very well. Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Good, good. God, what have you got for sale? Well, a bit of this and a bit of that. Is there anything? Does he have money and everything? Okay, because I remember being here not long ago. I think. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's start with him and I'll uh, get some oil here. Oh, oh no, that's not what I want. All right, he's got eight of these suckers. We're gonna grab them all. And what do you have for arrows, sir? Maybe he's got something enchanted. That would be spectacular. He's got nothing as far as arrows go. Necklace of Mending. Ooh, health regenerates 30% faster. Okay, now here we go. I've got some scaled horn armor. Some scaled bracers. You know, it would be something if... Uh, if Big Alvor had some scaled boots out there. Anyway. We'll head over to Rogod's gear. And, uh, you know what? I have a couple of... Staffs I'd like to get rid of first. Oh my god. Look at this <laughs> Look at this 998 gold. I'm getting for this staff of paralysis He doesn't even have 998 gold and I don't even have my necklace of minor haggling on Or is this his stuff? No, that's that's my stuff. Holy jeez All right. Well, we'll uh, I guess I'm holding on to the staff of paralysis for the time being I don't know where I got all this. Staff of the Frost Atronach? When did I pick that up? Alright. Uh, well, I gotta sell it. I have no use for it. None whatsoever. And I need to get rid of the Dragon Bone. <laughs> and that's pretty well it. Oh, no. That's not good. Well, let me go back and see what exactly he has, if anything. I could certainly buy up some of these. The Regenerate Health 1 is coming in at 787 gold. Holy. I feel like I'm just getting completely gypped if I were to spend any money on that damn thing. Actually, that's not too bad, though. 50% faster for 300 in seconds. Hmm. I mean, it's all about just kind of trading with the fella. You know? And I do have a big, you know, a big, a big ticket item here. The Staff of Paralysis. Need to get rid of that. And a lot of minor stuff as well. Oh, jeez. Well, let me get rid of some jewels here first. The amethysts, the flawless garnet, the ruby, and the garnet. I've got all these damn soul gems. He's got to be... He's, yeah, he's nearly depleted now. The ruby giving me another 50, leaving him with 41. Oi, oi, oi. A few petty soul gems can go. Oh, I forgot to stock the lessers onto the horse. That's fine, though. And uh, amazingly, I mean, I'm just amazed that he has nothing as far as arrows go. I mean, maybe he shouldn't be since he's more of a general goods trader. Well, I could... You know what? I really did have my eyes set on uh, perhaps shedding the uh, the light ball work and going with the scaled horn armor. You know what? Screw it. I, I will make the trade right there. And that's how I'm going to do that. Just had to commit to it, to the decision. All right, now I'm gonna go back over to my gear. And well, how how should I do this? I, I guess I could probably hold on to that staff of paralysis for the time being, and just try and get rid of as much as possible. The black soul gem can go. The common soul gems, the dragon scales.
You know what? I'll get rid of these two lessers. I, I have plenty of soul gems. Um, sold soul gems on the on the horse, you know. All right. Is there anything I'm missing that should be going? Not sure. Ingredients are fine. Okay, now I have some meat, but that can go to the inn if need be. After I decide what exactly I'm gonna cook. Oh, I've got a bunch of potions here that I didn't really want. Um, all right, the uh, the magic. Uh, You know, the stamina's... Hmm. I think that can probably go... This concentrated poison of, uh, poison damages magic by 5 points per second for 10 seconds. <laughs> but it restores, you know, that was com a complete accident. I'll get rid of that, and I'll get rid of that as well. Uh, the Fortify Heavy Armor can go. Those sneaks can stay put! Get rid of these Magicas here. They're not worth much. <laughs> They're really not worth much. The Phantom Forms, it's time to part ways. Okay, Fortify Conjuration, the Fortify Barter, and Illusion, they can all go. Fortify Magicka... I have an obscene amount of uh, frost <laughs> potions. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of all six of them. Get rid of that one as well. Just to keep them limited at five, that's fine. Okay, uh, restore magicka. No, don't want that. And I think that's probably it. I think I'm going to hold on to everything else. The ice wraith essence can go too. Okay, that looks good. Okay, what's he sitting with? 1,100. All right. Good. Copper and sapphire circlet can go. Okay, now, uh, we're actually getting a good look here. I don't know. Why did I grab the War Chief Light Bulwark? Am I wearing that right now? No. Why would I grab that off the horse? Should have been on the horse in the first place. Maybe I forgot to put it on there at the beginning when I changed gear. Alright, um... Well, I don't really need it now, do I? But I can sell that to, uh, to the big man outside. Alvor. Alright, the gray hide can go. The brown hide, the brown burlap, the black linen, times two. The cape? What's the difference between a cape and a cloak? Probably not much. I think I'm going to hold on to that one cloak of brown hide. Okay. Why, why do I have a, a broken ancient Nord armor? That was clearly picked up accidentally. I, I guess I'll get rid of... Send it his way. Oh, the Adept Robes of Destruction. Not really recouping much here. Kind of disappointed in that. I think that was initially valued at 1700 Well, that's still that's still a good payday. Sell it. And I think that's it for that. Um, yeah, the staff of paralysis, I'm gonna have to hold on to that. I can only imagine what that's initially valued at. If I'm pulling in nine hundred and ninety eight off of it. God damn. Either that or it's really a high demand item for Luke and he just wants it. He's willing to pay an arm and a leg for it. I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? I think uh, I think I'm gonna leave for for the time being. Till next time. Good good day, Lucan. Good day. Pleasure. Pleasure doing business, sir. And we'll go and have words here with Alvor. And I'm really hoping that he's got a a pair of uh, skilled boots. You know. Look at him teaching his daughter the craft. Good for you, sir. I like seeing that. Whatever you need. What I need. I smear if it's simple and strong. I can. <laughs> oh, good. I don't. I don't need you to craft me anything, sir. What I need is for you to take it's a little bit off my hands here. Yes. Feeling a little weighed down currently. 
Alright, let's uh, start with him and see what he has for arrows. He's got some steel... Not really much, though. What do I have for arrows? I know I was starting to really work my way through the, uh, the dwarven supply, and they were plentiful. I've still got 51 steel. The orcish have been depleted. They're down to three. My best arrows, the Enzulils, are still there. And I've got the Falmer backing that up. Okay. I've got a bit, but you know what? I think uh, just to give him a little bit more cash, since he, he seems to be hurting. He seems to be strapped for cash currently. Look at that orcish glaive. Look at that thing. Dang. All right. Uh, we'll grab the steel arrows off of him. <laughs> and I've got those big tombstone ceremo ceremonial greatswords. We'll start with them. Okay, that's a big, you know, load off of Rorgard's backside. And uh, the wolf claymore can go as well. The steel, and then there's some minor gear. The orcish dagger can go. The iron dagger. Uh, the iron broadsword of ice, yes. That dwarven short bow. Ooh, the cl I forgot about this. The Clovian composite, or sorry, the dark composite bow. When I match that up against my, where is it? The glass longbow. That's you know what? That's pretty close. Look at that. That's within five. Five damage. I still like the glass better, but as far as the hunter goes, I'm actually thinking that would be more ideal for Rogod's character. You know, at this point. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, and I've still got quite a bit of gear here that, that's going to have to go his way. Let's see what he has. Does he have the scaled boots? No. No, he doesn't. Of course not. Damn it. Well, that's unfortunate. Still carrying a bit more than I'd like to be. You know... I've got quite a bit of armor here. Let's come off of there. All right. Doc. God, God. Oh, I can actually move with a little bit of haste. Fantastic. All right, back to the Riverwood Trader. I did leave Lucan with some cash, just in case I had to come back. It's a back. fine day with you. you oh, me. Camilla. We're the only people around yes. who aren't complete fools. You're right. You're right, Lucan. You're right, sir. How right you are. Take a look. <laughs> yes. Okay, now, let's see. What should I get rid of that's really weighing me down? Uh, those ebony boots are, yeah, pretty hefty as far as things go. I've got a lot of hides, though. Damn. And uh, those cave bear pelts, they're pretty hefty. Okay, let's, uh, I, I need to try and stay focused. Get rid of these ebony boots. Uh, the elven boots and gauntlets. Really not fetching much. I probably should have slipped on the necklace of minor haggling. So I've forgotten now three times. Thricely. <laughs> Alright, the Elven Light Shield. Yes, that can go. Um, the Hide Bracers. <laughs> valued at three apiece. Damn. Is it even worth picking them up? Orcish Gauntlets. Goodbye. The Leather Helm. Sayonara. Uh, and the War Chief Light Bulwark. Yes, yeah, so I'm still carrying that now. Uh, they're all really light, though. I mean, the scaled armor at six, the war chief light ball work at four. It's not too bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll throw that in. <laughs> I don't want that single ancient Nord arrow. Not sure where that came from either. Probably a uh, why well, Rogard probably pulled it out of his goddamn his goddamn shoulder or something, you know. Clearly, it was embedded in his flesh. Alright. I think that is uh, is almost all I'm going to be able to get rid of here. Well, with the exception of a couple of, of pelts. I'd certainly get rid of the three goat hides. I guess I'm going to have to hold on to the pelts. Get rid of one, maybe. Oh, I've got the gold ingot that I never did sell either. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You're a strapping young man. Oh. Don't be a stranger. I won't, Camilla. I won't, my dear. <laughs> Rogard, such a ladies man. He's got Camilla here in Riverwood. He's got uh, Hermir in 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 Windhelm. Damn, man. Damn. 
All right. All right. Now then, I want to hit up the forge at long last. And I'm still carrying some, like, tomes and stuff that need to be sold. Come on, Alvor. Let's pick up the pace here. Sucker. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Not pleased with all my bickering. My hemming and hawing. All right. Because he came off that sucker. He came off that forge with his arms crossed. And a scowl on his face. All right. What am I looking for? <laughs> the, uh... No, like, what am, what am I wanting? Miscellaneous here. Oh, there it is. The fine fishing pole. I need a leather strip, five tundra cotton. Check, check. Uh, a steel ingot. Check. And three ironwood longbows of greatness. Check. And there we go. You pick up a fishing pole. With the right bait, you might catch some fishes. Good. Good. <laughs> what are we using for bait? You have gained the used fishing pole lesser power. Okay. Fantastic. I'll tell you, this hot air balloon, it's really caught my eye. But no, I'll leave it. <laughs> we'll save it for a future episode. All right. All right. Fishing pole. Good. All right, now, uh, uh, Alvor, he doesn't really have any money left, does he? Damn it. And uh, we're going into... Maybe I should stop by <laughs> to buy White Run to do some some selling first, you know? I don't know. Screw it. Let me uh, check the horse inventory or stock a few things back onto him. Now, wait a second. Am I carrying... Oh, 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 you know what I did? I know what I did. I have... Now, I now have two... I do. I have two more Chief Light Ball Works. Oh, my God. Because I stripped that one man down at Nilheim, I think. If I'm remembering correctly. All right. Well, let's pack all that onto the horse, along with the scaled armor and the bracers. God damn. He's probably completely weighed down already. Tuck that away. As far as weapons go, the Staff of Paralysis can go on there. Uh, the potions will be fine. I've got meat that I need to get rid of. And, of course, I've got skins that need... What, what did I just do? I don't even know. I guess it was probably one of the claws... All right, the cave bear pelts, the leather, the strips, and uh, the sapphire dragon claw, the wolf pelts can all go b back on board, and the ingots. In my, in my fine fishing pole. There we go. All right, we'll put that on there as well. Even though it's only a pound and a half, we'll save the fishing for another day. And uh, I have words, well, gonna have to go and have words here with, uh, with Delphine. Alright. Not really getting much done. Something. Had to do the buying and selling, though. I don't think you were followed. I'll grab Come a on. sip of my, of my coffee here. What is she on about? She's very paranoid, this one, you know? <laughs> Thelmer agents lurking everywhere. Yes. Unfortunately, you know, despite her paranoia, uh, she leaves all the doors ajar constantly, you know. Anybody could just roll up on us and ambush us at any given moment. Now, wait a second. There's that, and then there should be one more. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Truly. Truly wonderful. Where'd she go? I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Okay. You mean you're not coming? That would be a bad idea. Why? I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. Okay, all but right. they don't know you at all yet. No, they don't, do they? They will. They will remember the name Rogar Vinmaker. Yes. So what's your plan? How do I infiltrate this uh, Thalmor embassy? I'm quite curious. Quite curious. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wynn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. 
I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Very well. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Apparently it doesn't matter if I know the Meet me at the Solitude week. Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Good lord, did she ever just rip through that? I don't know, I've got several questions. Like, first off, why didn't you ask, I mean, wait for me to answer whether I knew the Winking Skeever or not? Well, I do. But Rorgard certainly doesn't. And, uh, you know what, this uh, old strapping Nord here... Uh, all decked out in, uh, you know, hunter's gear, the hunter woodsman. Looking the hunter woodsman, looking a little shaggly, a little grizzly. How's he gonna fit in? He's gonna stick out like a sore thumb at the Thalmer Embassy. Anyway, we'll leave all that alone. We will suspend disbelief. And, uh, let's talk about Malborn. Yes, this man I'm to meet, this contact of yours. You sure? I can trust him, Delphine? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you, <laughs> no. but he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. I like how she referred to me as dangerous. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've clearly left an impression on the woman. The poor thing. Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. Now, w once I'm inside, I'm, I meet up with Malborn. I'm inside the embassy. Well, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be looking for, you know? Give me a little bit more, please. Please. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Malborn should be able to point you in the right direction. Good. Good. What am I looking for? She doesn't know anything, anything to implicate the Thalmor, and uh, in the return, you know this this dragon business. All right, well, how am I how am I supposed to? Well, no, I don't really need to ask that. I guess I'll see you in solitude after I meet up with Melbourne. Is that the plan? Is that it? Sounds good. Good. Be careful. I, I'll try. <clears throat> you stay safe out there, Delphine. You stay safe. <sighs> Rogard's sounding a little tuckered. He's hungry. I'm gonna have to uh, cook him up a meal, I think. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Does she have any better arrows floating around here? Look at this slow time three! <gasps> well, that's only coming in at 60 seconds. You know, so the one I created was pretty goddamn effective. You know what? The Dovahkin it needs a little bit here yes we'll, we'll grab some of that gear that's some pretty good gear and we're gonna grab the arrows to boot that's what it's here for people all right off we go i'll leave the gold camilla fancy meeting you here right next to this bed <laughs> this new bed should we try and break it in hmm test out the springs or the hay, or whatever the hell they put in beds in, in Skyrim. All right, I, we got I need to rooms of food, drink too. I cook. I guess I could go Ain't out, uh, to go out to the fire. You look worse than I feel. Embry, what do you want? Let's have a little whistle at him here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Maybe I should just wipe that smile out of <laughs> out of your face. I'm loving it. No need to get rough. Here, here. Embry, have a drink on me. Got any ale or mead? What do I have here? I'll give him a... Oh, I don't know if I want to give him a mead. I'll give him the wine. There we go. Mm, mm. Oh, he doesn't seem too, too impressed. He didn't sound too impressed. He looks quite pleased, though. It did the job. All right. All right, night's setting in here. I really haven't done much, but at least, at least we've tied up things here with Delphine, or at least she's given us some direction. We're heading, we need to get to Solitude, so we're right into, as far as civil, the Civil War goes, we're heading right into uh, enemy territory. So maybe I should slow that down a little bit, and try and uh, play out the rest of the Civil War quest line with the Stormcloaks before I pursue the main storyline with Delphine any further, you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
I'll have to think about that. All right, let's see. Use up the cooking pot here. I would like to get uh, get a meal. Uh, well, you know what? Before I I do any cooking, let me take a look and see what exactly I have. Did I not make a just make a bear roast recently? I could have sworn I did. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll have that. Oh, I forgot to sell the meat to um, to what's his face at the Sleeping Giant. I've got some uh, well leg of goat. Some spoiled raw meat can go. Have a little bit of water here. All right, I've got a few things I need to do uh, before I completely wrap this episode. Some cooking is going to have to be done. I'd like to collect a little bit of water, and uh, I'm going to have to go back and sell some meat to the innkeeper. I do want to rest. I think it would be a smart choice. We'll sleep. Uh, I'll set up camp somewhere. That's not what I wanted to bloody well do. I haven't done this in so long, I forgot how to do it. What I want to do is fill these up. And the water skins as well. And there we go. So, I think uh, a rest would be in order. And uh, and do the last few things I want to do, which is cook up, cook up a little bit of meat. Um, boil off this water. I think what I'll do is I'll do a pair of bear roasts and then uh, do these boiled waters. I'm curious what happens to my... Oh, I could do 100 stew as well. No, I've got too much too much uh, cooked food as it stands. Some salted meat. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, and now over to uh, the water. Okay, and, uh, you know, I could do some tea, which is always a smart choice, because and try and get the benefit. Unfortunately, the green tea, which I'd actually prefer, doesn't actually do anything. I need snowberries and frost miriam to be able to craft this. And there we go. And I will do the green teas, just to have them. Right, look at this, I could do some honey. Reduce the honeycomb into honey. Well, why not? You know, that's fantastic. I will do that. Herbal tea? Speech plus 10? 600 seconds? What do I need for that? Elves ear, blue mountain flower, dragon's tongue, honey, and, and two water. Look at that. Is that something? Good lord. Well, yeah, well, I might as well get a nice collection of teas. I wonder if uh, if I cook these up, if, if they're worth more. Of course, I burned through some salt, so I don't think it's really a great choice. Okay, th there we go, there we go. Alright, I've cooked a few things. Okay, people, I think I'm going to wrap it here. Um, I know it's only evening is setting in, but uh, whatever I do off camera, uh, I'm going to rest, and I'd like to get a fresh start in the, in the daylight of, of the morrow, yes. Uh, currently, I'm just running over back to the sleeping giant in here to sell off the last of this yeah, meat. Is that not a beautiful, gods, bloody, uh, bloody evening sky? Dragonborn, but such a thing, surely that's not possible. Don't be so sure, my friend. I think he was rambling on about the dragonborn. Yeah, so I'm gonna, sl I'm going to uh, sell this, and uh, you know what? I'll see you all in the next episode. Uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking this out. We didn't get too much done, but uh, that happens from time to time. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Until next time, remember why it hurts. Later, all.